So what is it? Well, it's the fervent fan base, number one. Okay. You have to have an engaged fan base. They certainly have that. You have to have a good building that generates revenue. They play in the KFC Yum Center, which was actually built to attract an NBA team. So it has all uh, those luxury suites. All that the bells and whistles. All yep. the bells and whistles that the athletic director can now go out and sell to the high rollers. You need donations with that fervent fan base. Half, this is an incredible number, half of the revenue at Louisville for the basketball program comes from donations alone. Take that number out, just the donations of about $21.5 million. That would be seventh in, re in revenue in the country. So that for alumni basketball. network is huge then. That is huge. They are passionate. They are willing to pay. The only problem at Louisville is they renew it like a 98% rate, so you really can't get it year <laughs> over year. Right. But those are the keys to the success. You know, when you say the fan base, why are they, I mean, are they, why are they so loyal and so committed? Is that much more than you there see are, elsewhere? No, there are pockets in different parts of the country. But okay. for football, you look at Alabama. For basketball, it happens to be Kentucky. The Bluegrass State, they're crazy for hoops. They have led the nation in college basketball ratings for the last 12 years. And it doesn't have to be just Louisville playing. They watch everything. It's a basketball kind of town, and they cannot get enough of it. Uh, it it's huge, right? So, okay, now what about the others? I mean, we mentioned how Kentucky is far behind, but how much ahead is Louisville compared to the rest well, of Well, number that? two is my alma mater is uh, Syracuse University, which ah. will not be participating. They'll have to give some money back due to their <laughs> violations, so a little sad there. But they're 11 million clear in revenue. Uh, that's a big gap, and Syracuse okay. has an arena that seats 30-plus thousand. So that tells you right there that they're doing something right in Louisville. Those donations make all the difference in the world. However, we have to see if all that money continues to flow. Right. There are dangers. Uh, now, what about in the future? I mean, that, that's a great point, Scott. So what about in the future? I mean, can Louisville continue that lead? I mean, does it look like it's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep that? They're hoping to. However, if you did a kind of a line item on President Obama's budget, one thing stacked way in the back was a removal of the, the uh, tax exemption that people, when they give donate to programs, for sports tickets. Ah. If that goes away, the Louisville Athletic Director told me, we have to rethink how we do our business. Interesting. That is a, will all the donors stop if they don't get the break? Probably no. not. But, but some. But some will certainly utilize it and say, oh, we have to put our money elsewhere. Uh, and I got to ask you, Scott, who's your big upset? Well, everybody's taking Kentucky, right? Yeah. I figure if you take Kentucky, you're just like everybody else. So how about Wisconsin? Frank Kaminsky, big player, can put a team on his back, almost like Danny Manning in 1988 in Kansas. I'm going to take the big man, season team, big team. They can beat Kentucky. And somebody's going to have to do that to win this tournament. Okay. So I'm taking Wisconsin. All right. Uh, I have yet to fill my bracket. So there you go. I'm Why'd you give me so much grief? <laughs> I had neither. Scott, thank you so much. Scott Sochnick, our Bloomberg sports writer.